Hello, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this episode, we are continuing with the tutorial on the binary operation. Today, this episode is the last part of a binary operation, and we are taking the inverse property of a binary operation. The just ended episode, we deal with the identity element where we know that if I have 5 plus 0, I will always get what? 5. Simply put, 0 is our identity element which we represent by E. Now, to find the inverse of this, that is for me to be able to get back my identity element as in this 5 plus a value to give me back my identity element. I am looking for a number that when I add it back to the original, I will get my identity element. That's the inverse. We are looking for the inverse number of this. Which number will be added to 5 in order to give me 0? And that number is going to be what? Negative 5. 5 plus negative 5 is 0. So in also this case, we can say that 0 is the identity word element here but when they come to this place the inverse of 5 will be negative 5 so the inverse in also we have 4 times 1 will always give us what 4 as in multiplication any number multiplied by 1 will end up giving us what the same number so in this case also we learn that 1 is also an identity element of multiplication Good. Now, if I want to get my 1 back as in 4 times a certain value, give me 1 as a value, as my identity element, I need to find a number that will multiply this. The only way is to find the inverse of this, to reciprocate this value to become 1 over what? 4. And 1 over 4 times 4 will give us 1. So all we are trying to say is that if there is an identity element, that identity element can also be used to find what the inverse of the number. So in this case, if A will represent 5 or this. So I can say A plus my identity element to give me back what? A. That is what we learn under identity. But under this, what we are looking for is that we are going to say this is our A plus a particular value, which is our inverse should give us our zero, which is what? The identity element. So whatever I add to uh, A in order to get E, in this case, we minus what? A. Minus A plus A give you E. E is the identity element. Good. Now, if you come to this place also, we can say A times a value give me what? One. And one is also the identity element of multiplication, right? So, I need a value, which that could also be 1 out of 4, A. 1 out of A will give you 1, and the 1 is our identity element. So, representing any number at all with A, then, since we are using addition, multiplication is not the same, we are going to use an operation. Don't forget, we are under binary operation. So, when this is operated on by the inverse, the inverse, you can see, Minus 5 is the inverse, 1 over 4 is the inverse. I still have to get the identity. Whether it is addition or multiplication, I always get back my word, identity element. So now we need our inverse, and we use this to represent the inverse. So all we are going to do, all the noise we are making, this is the only reason why we are doing that. It says that if I operated an element with its inverse, I should get back the identity element. So, the steps involved in solving question and the inverse property is one, find the identity element. Find the identity element. Then two, substitute your identity element into this very equation. Substitute, what a value of E have you found? Put it back into the equation, then solve for the inverse, that is A prime. When you solve for this, you will get your inverse as planned. So a 
binary operation star is defined by a star b equals to a plus b plus 5. Our task is to find the inverse. First of all, we are going to have the relation let e be so if e is the identity element, we know that if I have a operated on by the identity element, I should get the a back. That is the identity element. So using the definition of the operation, which says a plus b plus 5 equals what? a. Now what do we do? We are looking for the e. So we subtract 5 from both sides and this a also from both sides, meaning you are grouping like terms. So e is going to be a minus a minus what? 5. So we know this will give us 0. So our e is going to be equal to what? Minus 5. So the first part says find the identity element. So now the second part is that let a prime be the inverse. So if that is the case, we know a operated on by the identity the inverse will give us what the identity element so this is our identity element so we are going to have a plus b which is the prime plus five to give us our e and in this case we have what minus five the value of e is minus five so now we are going to solve for this value with this word our inverse so now I have the inverse equals to minus 5 is already there. This minus 5 will come because this is plus from the left. When they come to the right, it becomes what? Negative. Then this will also come as what? Minus a. So our inverse is going to be minus 10 minus what? A as our value. Now let's check the second question. The operation is also defined a plus b minus a b. That is the product at the end there. We have to find the inverse. So first of all, find the identity. So we let e be so if e is the identity element, then it means a operator on e should give him back my word. A. So what do I do? I use the definition of the operation which is going to be the first plus the second minus the product. AE. So give me back my A. Don't forget we are not concerned about A. We are concerned about the E. So we keep the E here. Send the A there. This is going to be E minus AE equals to A minus A. As in this A taken away from that. I need only one on the e, so I have to factorize. So e into bracket, e divided by e is what? 1. a e divided by e will give you a, and this will give us what? 0. So we need to divide through by any excess baggage. So our e is going to be 0 divided by 1 minus what? a, and that will definitely give us what? 0. This 0 is numerator. So it will give us zero. This will be the zeros of this equation. So now that we are done with that, we have to also find the inverse because that is what we are looking for. So let a prime be the inverse if a prime is the inverse, that simply means that a operated on the a prime should give us our identity element so if you operate these two we should get the identity so that simply means that i'll be having this based on the definition which is the first one plus the second one minus the product equals to what e and in this case our e is what zero we are changing the value of e from the calculation we have so what do I do? I need an inverse, so I maintain the inverse here. So inverse minus the product of the two equals to zero minus what? A. And that will be minus A. 
I still need only one of the a prime. So a prime will now be my factor dividing a prime to give me one minus a a prime divided by a prime will leave only what a. All this equals to minus a. So I believe I'm looking for the a prime. So I divide by the excess baggage. So a prime equals to minus a over one over what a. So this is also the inverse of this operation. So don't forget, a question can also be asked to find, use the calculation to find the inverse of 4. If you are asked to find the inverse of 4, it means here we become this inverse of 4 equals to 4 over 1 minus what? 4. We are only replacing the a with the value of 4. So that will be minus 4 over minus 3. And that is 4 over 3. If you were asked to find the inverse of a, a given number, you only substitute into the final equation that voila, there you are. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you are new, share, like, and leave a comment for us to get interactive. Bye. -bye.